from Indy Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. And good afternoon, I'm Lauren Casey. Here's a look at today's top stories. A former guidance counselor at Roncalli High School is back in a courtroom today. Lynn Starkey is appealing the dismissal of a discrimination lawsuit against the school. Roncalli and the Archdiocese of Indianapolis did not renew Starkey's contract after her marriage to a woman was made public. The case is being heard by the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals. A lower court judge ruled that the U.S. Constitution prevents the government from forcing the church to hire educators who reject Catholic Church teachings on sexuality. The city's new community justice campus is now officially open. City leaders cut the ribbon today for the new building located on the southeast side of Indianapolis. Mayor Joe Hogshead calls the opening a cornerstone of his criminal justice reform efforts. He says it brings together community partners on one campus for a modern data driven approach to the Indianapolis justice system. The new justice campus is also home to the adult detention center, the Marion County Sheriff's Office and all Marion County courts, with the exception of those hearing juvenile delinquency cases. Today, a new historical marker in the Circle City will be unveiled. It recognizes IPS John Hope School Number 26, which is now the current home of the Oaks Academy in Indianapolis. School 26 was one of the first public schools for black students here in Indianapolis. Let's get a check of our forecast on this Monday with Todd Klassen. Hey, Todd. It's a beautiful day, Lauren. Low humidity, lots of sunshine and temperatures this afternoon will be topping off in the mid to upper 70s across uh, the area. Uh, get out there and enjoy. If you can't uh, get out there today. Uh, tomorrow is kind of a repeat. The only difference is a couple degrees warmer in the afternoon. We start off in the mid 50s. We end near 80 degrees for your Tuesday. Still plenty of sunshine, still low humidity. Take advantage of today or tomorrow because on Wednesday and that's when showers and thunderstorms return to the area. Todd, for more stories and weather you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.